to find a circle that has endpoint diameter at P and Q, what you need to do is you have to have a radius and you have to have the center. Okay. Obviously, the center is halfway between P and Q, so the radius is the distance between the two and a half. So let's find the distance first. Distance squared is equal to x minus x1, which is um, minus 1 minus 5 squared. This is the changing in x plus changing in y, minus minus 5, which is plus 5 squared. So this is a 6 here, and that's 36 plus 36 there. So distance is equal to distance squared is equal to 72. So over here you have 6 radical 2. So from there we know radius is 3 radical 2. Or what I like to do is convert it into radius squared, which in this case is 18. Okay, so I'll just square that one. Um, the midpoint formula says that midpoint is x1 plus x2 over half, y1 plus y2 over half. So that's going to be our center. So our midpoint here is for our center. I have minus 1 plus 5 over 2. I have 1 plus minus 5 over 2. Or our center is at uh, 2 here because this is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And here I have minus 2. All right. So here's my center. And my radius square earlier I calculated is minus uh, positive 18. So the formula says it's going to be x minus the center point coordinates 0 plus y minus um, center of the point here, I'll put a y0 here, equal to r squared. Okay, so let's plug in the formula over here. So it's x minus 2 squared plus y minus minus 2 becomes 2 equal to 18. So here's the formula for the circle. All right, have a comfortable day.